Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today is a very rainy day but also a very exciting day because we're picking up some new chickens. If you've been watching my chicken journey on YouTube you'll know that I've owned chickens throughout my childhood. The last kind of set of chickens that we've had, um, we've had for the last five years so if you remember that video that I did that was that was that time has flown by so quickly anyway very very sadly we are down to our last chicken um the last lot we actually lost from them being egg bound snickers she had a problem with her eye i don't know if it was cancer but we very sadly she passed away not too long ago so we're now at the stage where mars here has grieved and she's now time it's now time to get her some more friends so we're actually getting the chickens from fresh start for hens so they're going to be chickens that are 15 months old that have now kind of finished their egg delivering journey I guess they were kind of in the egg producing industry and now they're seen as not profitable anymore so we are rehoming them so hopefully they're going to have a very lovely life living on the farm with us also Mars here we need to think of some names for the two new chickens because my previous ones were called Bounty, Milky Way, obviously Mars or Marsy, and then we also had Snickers as well. So named after chocolate bars or chocolate Easter eggs, because I kind of got them around Easter time. Um, but I need to think of some names for the new ones. So because Mars is kind of the name of a planet, I was thinking maybe we could do something planet themed or maybe more chocolate themed as well. So let me know in the comments what we should name the new chickens. Anyway, the first thing I need to do, I'm just going to pop her down a sec. There we go, you have a little wander around. But anyway, the first thing that we need to do is actually go shopping because although, you know, we've got the full chicken set up, there are actually a few little bits and bobs that we've been given on a list that we need to buy for the new ones. I just want to look at all the dog things. Present for Ruby. They've completely changed the setup since I was last here, so I'm a little bit lost. dog. Alrighty, we, I need to get my shopping list up. Uh, we need to find some mash because that's what the new chickens are used to when ours are used to having pellets. So we need some layers of mash. That's corn, corn, layers of pellets, duck stuff. Update, there's no mash which is sad but we can get some grit so we can get one thing from here. We're gonna have to go to another shop though. What's the difference between the oyster grit and the normal grit? They did say the oyster one, didn't they? We also need some poultry powder as well. They said it's good to have housing spray. What's the difference between the spray? That kills mites and stuff. This is natural and non-toxic. There we go. That's why they want us to get powder. Okay, situation report. We've got the oyster shell grits and we've got the poultry powder. But that's it. We need to get some mash because the new chickens are used to mash and obviously, you know, it's going to be a big change for them. They're going to a new home or, you know, our house. So um, we don't want to change their food. We need to keep that the same. So we need to get some mash for them because my chickens are used to layers of pellets. So that's a little bit different. All right, pet stop, pet stop, pet shop <laughs> number two. <laughs> we'll see if this place has it. It's a little bit smaller. So you know what? They probably will. We have found the layers lash. Woo! Oh no, my plant pots! I had a fun time at the garden centre the other day, so I've still got a gardening scoop. Um, this is a little cart of fuel. <laughs> I got some little pot things, and then I've got some stuff, soil. We're now going to the garden centre because I love the garden centre. I do actually need two new plant pots. We're going a bit off topic here. It, to be fair, we don't, we're not getting the chickens until later. So we've got time to go to the garden centre. If you listen to my podcast, you will know I love a cheeky garden centre trip. They've got a little otter fountain. Do you think I should get a fountain for the garden? To be fair, the otters are kind of cute, but I feel like they'll be staring at me while I was in the garden. So things have eyes that aren't real sometimes freak me out a little bit. Oh, this one's pretty. Look how cute that is. It's a little bird feeder, but it's in an acorn shape. Mini greenhouse. That's cute. I was going to say, should we get a new yard room? But I don't think it's going to fit in my in my car. Although actually, that's some, mm, it might fit through the holes. Oh, it's like a dandelion. That's cool. So I'm just so easily pleased. Just take me to the garden centre, and I'm a happy girl. I've come here for a mission. I need to remind myself that I only need two things. 
two plant pots. I could put that on my windowsill and then I could get loads of little baby plants, put them on there. Oh, they've got sale. That gives me a bit of trypophobia. So I'm looking for some plant pots for my basil and my mint to go in my house, but I'm just, I'm really awful at making decisions. That wasn't me. These little green ones, they're cute. I have finally decided on the green ones and they're 50% off, so woo, let's go. I'm gonna get distracted by the pretty things now, aren't I? Oh my gosh, there's a horse box. It's gone to the car wash. That's such a good idea. I should take mine to the car wash. Why have I never thought of that? All right, the Esme shopping expedition is now complete. I'm not allowed to buy any more things. That is official for, to for today, anyway. Um, anyway, we need to get everything back, get it sorted, and then go and get the chickens. Hopefully, by the time we've all done that, yeah, it's chicken picking up time. I'm excited. Let's go. Welcome to my <laughs> garden shed because I'm repotting my basil plant from the supermarket because one of the reasons why they die, according to the internet, is because they're in too small of a pot. So I'm going to put them in a slightly bigger pot and hopefully they won't die because my last ones sadly died because they weren't watered when I went away. So they were supposed to be watered. But there we go. I definitely should have worn gloves for this, but oh well. I can wash my hands, make a little hole. I might need to do this outside, it's gonna be everywhere. I have broken them in half. We now have two. I have one little one and one slightly bigger one. Split my basils in half, because look how dense those roots are. No wonder they don't normally last too long. Sorry, this really isn't much chicken content for you all. There will be chickens along the way, but this is this is my Saturday. This is what I'm I'm getting up to. I got my herbs. Esme logic. Don't put the plant pot down when you can hold them all and probably drop them and destroy them while you struggle with the shed lo shed lock. Oh, a raindrop just went down my neck. There we go. Just needed a kick. We're all good. I did it. There we go. There we go. And then this little guy can go to my mum and dad's house. Here's a free plant for you. You're welcome. Gonna clean that up. Cause that is not very sanitary. No, you don't feel me emptying my bin. This is not very aesthetic for the old YouTube come and get my chickens with me country living gardening gal. Rubbish gal. We're now back at my mum and dad's farm and I have a box which is very on brand obviously being a Lemieux one um, but to be fair it's the biggest box that we have to fit them in it's only two chickens so it should be fine but at the moment I'm cutting some holes in them because obviously don't want them to suffocate I'm going to put some shavings in the bottom as well because they'll probably poop on the journey home um, so anyway I'm just going to try and cut some holes the best I can they said kind of like the size of a ruler so yeah that's probably about right I don't want it to look like a little chicken prison, but to be fair, they if they're, you know, used to, if they're caged hens, they're probably not used to sunlight. I was reading all the stuff about it. It's really sad. It said that their bones might not be very strong. They might have some muscle wastage. They haven't been able to move around much. So I'm really glad that we can give them hopefully a really good life. Anyway, to the box cutting. The DIY chicken transportation device is now complete. I've just added some shavings to the bottom because they're probably going to poop on the journey. They're probably going to be absolutely petrified, the poor things, bless them. Um, but yeah, we've cut the holes, so we're going to load that into the back of the car now. And then it's time to go. I'm excited. I wonder what Marzi is going to think to the other girls. We're going to have to bring some tape with us because we don't want them jumping out. We're almost here. We're on our way to pick up the chickens and I'm very excited. Eee! Can we just talk about how we've decided to take Max's car to pick up the chickens? Anyway, we are now back home. The chickens are in their box. They were actually so quiet on the journey. The whole time we're like, are we sure the chickens are in there? Also, um, they ended up giving us two extra ones because apparently they took in loads more than they were expecting and we were high up on the chicken priority list because obviously we've got a lone chicken so they're like yep um, so they managed to fit in two before they were like oh I don't know if we're gonna have enough anyway we've got even more so even more are coming home with us so we've got four now but anyway I'm gonna carry the box into where the, where the chickens are basically. I think we're gonna put them in their coop first, just so they know where their bed is, where to go. Also, luckily, that these guys were actually free range, so um, they know what the outside world is like, so that is good. So they've had a, 
hopefully somewhat decent life before. Sorry girls, you're a bit heavy. Okay, let's go chickens. Oh, I can smell them. All right, chickens, let's put you in. Hey girly. Oh, look at her. To be fair, there, she's very skinny and they did say that they're going through a bit of a molt at the moment, so that might be why they don't have too many feathers, but don't worry, we're gonna give you lots of snackies. Okay, I'm just gonna pop her in that first. Don't worry, I'll grab your friends quickly. Hello. Oh, don't pet me. I know. Here you go, you go in with your friend. Oh, you're the noisy one. Oh, look at you, you're so scraggly. Oh, Mars is not sure. Okay. All right, I'll shut them in and let them settle. All right, we're gonna let them settle. Mars is chilled. She, she did have a little squawk, but now she's chilled, so. Alrighty, I've got some mash. I've got a little bowl of water for them. So if they are a little bit nervous to come out, then they have some stuff. Hey girls. I've got some snacks here if you want it. Alrighty, that I think we're gonna leave it for today. We're gonna let them settle, let them do their own thing. There hasn't been any chicken fighting yet, so that is all good. And I'll give you an update once they're a little bit more settled, because I think we just need to leave them be and do their thing. Oh, good chickies. Hello everybody, it is now a new day. It's about a week and a bit later. So our new hens are now um, pretty, like a lot more settled than they were before. Um, obviously that was their first day here, but they're doing really well. There was one hen that was, we don't know if she was maybe a little bit ill from the journey here, because obviously they came from a farm, but also came from another farm. So she had a bit of a journey. Um, she was a little bit more reserved. I don't know if maybe she was in a state of shock. This is our bravest hen. Um, I can kind of just about tell the difference between them due to where they're missing feathers. Yes, hello. Um, so this one is the bravest. She has not much around her neck, so she's a little bit easier to identify, but we're still um, just waiting for this video to go out really to see what all of the names you guys come up with. But so far you guys have given me lots of really cool ones on my other socials. Um, but anyway, they're doing really well. I thought I'd do a bit of a chicken update. I'm gonna put you down now, gorgeous. There we go. Oh, she's off. She's off. Um, but no, the sun's come out a little bit. They've been trying to do some like dust bathing in the kind of weird mud clay that we have here at the moment. They're all a bit noisy because obviously I've just picked one up, so there's been a bit of a kerfuffle, but they're all doing really well. They're settling in really well. They know when we come over with their food, like before they would get really confused, like why we were coming over. Now when we walk over, they all run over, which is really, really lovely. There also has been no chicken fighting. Of course, like when we first put them in, we were a little bit worried about that. But because Mars is so much bigger, she's like looks really hench compared to them all. Um, she's just been top chicken, really. There's been no squabbles, no fighting, no pecking. So that is really good. Of course, we let them be separate to start with. And now they're all together and they're all happy. They've got to know each other and they've seen each other. So yeah, chicken update. It's all going really well. They're laying really well too. Um, that was one thing that they said that they might not lay to start with because obviously their routine's been shaken up. They're somewhere new. They that, um, they might not lay for a little bit but they're doing really well so hopefully we can feed them up and their feathers will grow back because they're all looking a little bit scraggly but i'm really excited for the future of the chickens it's now time to check for eggs because i haven't done that yet today so i thought i'd have a little look inside oh one two three four five. Oh my gosh well done ladies everyone has laid an egg today that is really good spring is definitely around the corner i can feel it everyone 
So here is our biggest egg of the day, which I reckon is from Mars. And then we have this little smaller egg, which is so cute, which I think is from one of the new girls. But they are doing so well. So um, I think we'll probably wrap up today's video here. If you'd like to check out Fresh Start for Hens, I'll leave a little link in the description below. And if you'd like to keep up with what the chickens are getting up to, because I'm sure they're gonna feature in lots more vlogs, please click the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. So it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. But yeah, it's so lovely to see how well the new hens are doing especially as we haven't really had them that long they're all looking a lot healthier you can kind of see their personalities a little bit more they're all coming out of their shell they're fluffing up a little bit more they're getting their feathers back so just think if that's all the difference they're looking like in a week imagine in like a month or a year so anyway thank you so much everybody for watching today's video and i'll see you all next time bye